Oh man, what kind of stuff are we getting this month? Sure hope it's something fun. Well, welcome back to All About That Nerd Life, you lucky devil you. We're here with another retro game treasure, just for you guys. Well, and me, because I get to keep the games, right? <laughs> so let's get right into it. So the first game I got, I thought I already had it, apparently I didn't. And that would be RBI Baseball 3. Now what's interesting about this is I'm not entirely sure, but I think these uh, the second and third one were also released on regular Nintendo cartridges instead of the the Tengen or Tengen, however you want to pronounce it, cartridges. Um, please let me know in the comments below if I'm crazy. Let me know, hey, it was on that cartridge, or no, it's not. Because a couple things. One, if they did, it'll help me collect that version, variant, of this game. But what's cool is... It came with a nice little dust cover. And the label is actually in really somewhat decent shape. It's not bad. Not bad. And the cartridge, um, the cartridge itself normally, uh, I clean it, I open, I open up the cartridge, I clean it as much as possible, and I didn't have to do that with this one. Uh, it was already fairly clean, and when I got the gameplay footage, um, it, like, first shot. Booted right up. It was fantastic. <clears throat> Next one is Dennis the Menace for the Super Nintendo. Now, I'm assuming this is based on the movie with uh, Walter Matthau as Mr. Wilson. Because, you know, as the blonde child. Blonde boy, um, and right off the bat, the label is, you know, has some wear and tear, you know what I mean? Um, and of course, if you look at it, the cartridge itself is two toned. No, that's not me messing with the color. No, this top part is really that much uh, of a different color. Um, there's probably a way for me to get it back to that normal gray color. Uh, probably use some hydrogen peroxide. Or, um, yeah, hydrogen peroxide would be what I would, what I would do, uh, and then just put it out in the sun, or UV lights, or whatever. Uh, or I could, once again, just get a better copy later, or do, uh, a shell swap with the back. Um, either way, didn't have it before, do now. Um, it was actually, the game was actually quite enjoyable, so, uh, despite the... Bad, I guess bad reviews that my friends have been telling me is actually not that bad of a game. Now this next game I had when I was a kid, and I got it. Uh, I lost it along the way, and I got it back, and that'd be Star Wars Episode One Racer. Now what's cool about this is the label seems to be in pretty good condition. There's obviously some scuffs there if you look really close. Um, but honestly, the cartridge looks really good until you do that. Once again, you got a two-tone cartridge. Once again, I can use a little hydrogen peroxide, UV lights, or put it out in the sun to reverse the, uh, I guess, uh, yellowing of the plastic case. Uh, but honestly, I didn't have it before. I do now, and I always thoroughly enjoyed this game, despite it being a Star Wars game with no lightsabers. I know. I'm sorry. And people are gonna be like, "What are you talking about? Battlefront, Battlefront, Front, Battlefront, and Battlefront Two were amazing." And they might, and they could have been, but it's like I'm gonna be real honest. I like me some Fallen Order. Possibly. Um, Fallen Order looks good. Uh, but uh, the main game, or one game that uh, that comes to mind is Force Unleashed. But that's just me. And finally, that's right, I got four games. 
I mean, Retro Game Treasure was a little delayed, but that wasn't their fault. They shipped it out at the same time. It's the whole situation going on with USPS, and I'm sure. Um, but the last game I had never heard of, and that's called Battalion Wars. You lose! Now, the, the front... Looks like the artwork might be a little faded, just a little bit, because when you look at the back, it's so much more vibrant, and then you look at the front, it's kind of muted. Or maybe it's just all in my head. I don't know. Uh, but what's cool about this is it is complete in box. You have the manual, you have the disc, and honestly... It wasn't that bad a game. I actually threw, I actually kind of enjoyed it when I was getting the gameplay footage. It was it was actually kind of fun. So um, and it's definitely something I would I would allow my eleven year old to play. Um, yeah, it says T for teen, but mm, come on. The rating system is a suggestion anyway. Uh, uh, any real parent would actually do their homework and look into the game first, then determine whether or not their child can sit there and. And um, would be up to being able to play it without any side effects or, you know, emotional damage or whatever they're calling it nowadays. Um, but come on, it's cartoonish. The artwork is like, come on. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this week's video. I'll see you guys next week. Did you like this video? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay in the loop of all my future videos. Because resistance is futile.